Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video on VP Concepts. <clears throat> this little guy. Um, I know you're used to having me review my uh, big boy system over there, but as you know, since I got this Axios cable, it kind of brought my headphone listening back to life. And I made an upgrade today. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, as you know, my last two videos on the on this cable, I taught the last video. I talked about what, how much better it made my headphones sound. But I knew that using the uh, standard lightning output uh, into the headphones wasn't you know driving it properly. Not enough power. Uh, the DAC wasn't good enough quality. And now that I am definitely listening to the headphones more, I wanted to um, uh, do something about even making the making the video quality or audio quality. Um, better, but portable as well. Uh, I didn't want a big giant, you know, cord mojo to carry around a box. So what I did is I went to Tune Hi-Fi here in Seattle and uh, Gavin, um, young man in college, an engineer and a drummer was there to help me. Um, he's a big headphone guy. And uh, Conan is the owner. Um, amazing shop guys. They have uh, Grado and Meza headphones and um, they have... Uh, uh, triangle speakers, Riga equipment, uh, you know, DAX, uh, they have uh, Name Audio. Uh, it went on and on. They, it's a killer store, a lot of product in there. Uh, PCM speakers. So if you guys live in Seattle, go down to First Street, right next to Pike's Market, and um, uh, you can check it out. Uh, go in there. But anyway, they had the Audio Quest line of DAX, and I had heard the black probably uh, three years ago and didn't like it, but they had the red and they had the blue, the cobalt. And so I AB'd the red against the blue, and I definitely preferred, preferred the blue. Um, the price is 300 bucks for this. Not bad for, for all that it does. So um, I'm actually going to open this with you and, let, and show you guys what's inside of it here. Because it's fun to do that with you guys. So you have the, uh, the information on, on, on how the DAC works. This thing does a lot. I mean, this thing does MQA. I'm really surprised. So if you guys want to hook this into a computer instead of a instead of an iPhone, you can obviously do that. It does a lot more than I even know. Um, when it when it, uh, the Dragonfly changes colors uh, based on uh, the code it's receiving, uh, the the uh, sample rate. So red uh, it's in standby. Green is 44.1. Blue is 40 uh, 48 hertz. Yellow is 88.2, light blue is 96, and then purple is MQA. So uh, Dragonfly is an MQA renderer only and must be partnered with the appropriate software to unfold the MQA files. For MQA capabilities, please, so, okay, so there you go. It's not full MQA. Um, but uh, anyway, still pretty nice. Comes with a nice leather, uh, leather pouch to carry it in. And it comes with a uh, USB into, this actually goes into the to the Mac. I guess that's a, your standard, uh, what is it, USB-C? I don't, I don't know the name of it. I don't do computer streaming. You guys know that. So when it comes to vinyl CDs and all that, I can talk my head off. But you talk about adapters and streaming and all that kind of stuff. I, I forget about it. So anyway, it's this little guy here I'm trying to get out. There it is. So what I did is I got this. So this actually is a lightning to USB and then it has the headphone input where this just plugs right in. I don't know where the end is. There it is. And then this just plugs right into here. And then this goes into the iPhone, which I can't do because I'm recording on it. And then the Dragonfly will change colors based on uh, what it's receiving, 44.1, 96, et cetera. So it's a really streamlined way to listen to headphones. And what's cool is now I don't just have to use the this cable because obviously this cable is proprietary to the HD 600s, but I've got the uh, on-ear momentum Sennheisers, the closed back. So I can use them now for that. I also have the Creative, um, the one Steve Guttenberg re re referred uh, or suggested uh, probably about a year and a half, two years ago, the Creative earbuds. I can use this with those. So I'm going to really enjoy my headphones more now that I'm getting quality audio out of the uh, the iPhone. And yes, I still use iTunes to upload all my music in. And uh, I also listen to a lot of YouTube. And this really, up, I believe this, this really, the DAC in here really improves that quality. So 
Did I A-B it? Yes. I played a song just using the Axios to the um, iPhone, and then I plugged this in through the iPhone and listened to it again. And another improvement. Louder, obviously, right? Because it's, it's driving the headphones better with the headphone amp, preamp. And it's got a much nicer DAC than what's inside of the, the stock little iPhone one. So uh, the highs are really, really sweet. That's what I liked. Very airy highs. Um, the bass is less bloated again. And the vocals were uh, uh, much more focused and, and uh, more human-like. So going from the standard lightning jack out, even though I upgraded the cord and it did sound way better, this made another improvement. So I'm very happy for 300 bucks. Plus, I think this was like $33 for the adapter. So um, there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you the, you know, accessories and what this thing came with and all the goodies. And I think it's worth 300 bucks if you guys are into, like me, you don't really have a full-blown streaming setup, but you do like to have the quality of your audio and your iPhone be better, then this is worth it for 300 bucks, okay? So thanks, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care now.